Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome to a first look here on Orchard Farm. So Orchard Farm was sent to me by Dusty Dave, the map creator, who also made the fabulous uh, Ventolwyn map on FS15. So thank you for sending me this, Dave, if you're watching this. Now I believe this map was on FS11, but it's been revamped into a fabulous FS17 map with lots of scenic views. And uh, there's some nice hills and stuff in this as well. So we're going to take a little drive around. And uh, once again, this is our potential for new uh, let's play map. So we're going to take a look around this. What we're coming up to now is one of the yards. As you can see, we've got a nice little private driveway here. Um, I'll show you some of the starting equipment as well. Now, I should mention that this truck here with the uh, NLD Farmers number plate is not part of the starter equipment. This is what I've put in because I wanted to test it out. It's got a light bar and stuff. It's quite cool. But um, yeah, so this is the, what well, I believe is the main house here. We've got the pickup truck. This does come with the map. We've got our chickens here with some eggs. Let's go ahead and select the uh, pick these up. Cool. So what we're going to do right now is jump into our little pickup truck here. And we'll take a look up the first yard. And then we'll drive around and see what we get up to, basically. So we're going to start it up. We're going to do it in third person so you guys can see everything. As you can see, we've got a little uh, light bar here, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is actually on the mod hub, this truck, I believe. So yeah, as we come into the yard, you can see we've got the uh, the grain dump right in front of us here. So if you are the sort of person that likes to use the uh, silos, you can do that. Up here, we've got a bit of storage. We've got our combine there, and as you can see, it's the New Holland. That comes with the map, that's starter equipment, and this is the size compared to that. Got another bay here, and another bay here, and another bay here. There's quite nice sheds, actually. I don't think I've ever seen these sheds before. Um, once again, we've got more storage along here. So this is probably what I'd consider the grain storage yard. Now, I've not tested it just yet, but I'm going to assume that these sheds have the tip coals on so you can dump the grain into there without it falling through the wall. Um, once again, not tested, but I will check that in a second. We'll get some in. So here's an, like said, a grass field. Now, do not worry. The grass is short, not because that's what it is on the map, but because I have the Seasons mod installed. So when you first load up the map, it um, all the grass has to grow, basically. It doesn't come fully grown. So we'll jump in and we'll jump back into here and we'll see where it takes us. So over here, actually, let's have a look at this side first. So there is where you unload the grain afterwards. It looks like you can get into that shed. It, that's just literally a storage shed, which is quite cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It does have a light. Um, I haven't found a light switch for it just yet, but um, there's the light up there. I'm going to assume it comes on automatically, automatically at night time. Um, so we've got the seeds and stuff here, so we've got the seed pallets, the fertilizer pallets here that you can fill up with. Um, we've got another storage shed here. Now this one does have lights that are manual, so this is the switch for them. Turn that on, you see the lights are on. Lights are off, so this map does have uh, manual lights for people that like them. Right, so at the end of the driveway here, we are going to go any mini money. I'm going to go this way because I can see a town over here. Well, I can see the top of a church, so we'll take a look at this. Now I have seen this map, uh, I flew over it basically using the fly mod. Or the flying command. Oh, there's another little uh, grain storage shed here. I've just crashed. Fantastic. So here we have what looks like another storage shed here. Um, it's got our seed drill and our cultivator and another tractor in. That's the 900 Vario. And some more storage sheds here with the plow. So this literally just looks like storage, but there's a nice little uh, cute field here. This one's interesting. Hmm. I like this field. I like little small cute fields like this. So I am a bit of a fan of this. Oh, there we go. Drifting a bit everywhere. That's probably the uh, response mod that I got turned on. So we'll carry on pressing on down this way here. Dang it. As you can see, I am using a keyboard and mouse for once, and I'm not very good at driving with a keyboard and mouse. So I'm usually using a wheel. I'm not used to this at all. Dang it. Drive, will you? So yeah, I'm using a keyboard and mouse just for this look through, uh, just for this playthrough, so I can use the mouse and like look around and show you guys everything. So what do we have here? We're at a little crossroads. Um, we're gonna go this way first of all. I think the town's down here. I'll show you the guys the store and everything as well when we get to it. There we will head down here. Um, so there's another edge to the field. Quite big grass fields on here, so the people that like doing silage, this may be the map for you. Um, there's a church there. Uh, how do we get to it? I think we turn left here. So there's got a corner, corner entrance to the field there. I have quite a lot of them in Devon. I'm not sure where this map's based. It may be fictional, but it may be based in an area. I'm not 100% sure just yet. As here's the church. We are in a little town here. Um, so we've got a petrol station here. It looks like a car park there as well, actually. Not seen that before. So here we have a shell shop with working triggers. I just heard the uh, noise there. We've got a pub here. Uh, what's in the pub? 
Is there any cell point in here? So the pub does does have a cell point. I was about to say it doesn't, but it does. There we go. So you can sell the barley and stuff, and they can make their own uh, mead and lager and stuff. It looks like this has lights as well. So yeah, it looks like the lights may be automatic. They may automatically come on at night time. So we all have 17 spec houses along here. They have been retextured. These are not... Well, they are the Goldcrest houses, but as you see, they're all brick now to match the actual UK. Um, so we'll follow this around. Looks like that's the end of the town. We have... I think that's the store there, I think. Possibly. Or is it down here? We'll drive down here. We'll come back this way later, because this is one of the main roads. Okay, so this looks like our chip area. Our wood chip area here. Our logging area. Let's make sure we don't crash in So yeah, we've got the uh, wood chip digester there, and we also have the cell points probably here somewhere. I have the markers turned off, but it, I believe it's there. And then obviously we have the digester here. Um, what's in this? Anything in this shed we should know about? We'll have a look as we turn around here. Nope. So you can store whatever you want in here. Maybe you could get like the crane or store it in here, or a logging trailer or something. It's pretty cool. Nice little cute logging yard. Right out of here we go. Carry on going this way, and now we have a roundabout. Let's see where this takes us. There's a huge cow in the middle. I know exactly where that came from. So this is quite interesting. This is something I've not seen before in a map. Uh, we have a little caravan park, which is interesting. We'll go in here. This would be good for my uh, lawn care series, as you guys know. I like doing a lot of lawn care, so this would be quite interesting for that. Just some caravans here, basically. There we go. Dusty Dave Morning. That's the uh, creator of the map, uh, He's got a little uh, billboard. So in here we have the BGA as well. So the scale works, which is nice. We have the uh, silage clamp from FSUK there. Our slurry tank is there. And the rest of it is just decor. Oh, we've got two silage clamps, actually. Didn't How did I miss that? And the rest just looks like decoration. But yeah, this is a nice tight yard for the people that like doing uh, the silage stuff in a British fashion. Wait, I'm coming through. Thank you. And we'll press on. Right, so we're back at the roundabout now. We come towards the end of the map there, so that wasn't any good to us. So we're going to head down this way now. You can see you've got a nice little uh, river running alongside that field there. And, uh, yeah, I was going to say, I'm assuming there's a bridge we have to go over to get to one of the fields. And here it is. If we can turn quick enough. So if you can get you... If you've got the uh, skills to turn your tractor in here, this is going to be a nice, interesting two fields to work on, actually. With uh, the gates as well. So how much do fields go for in this game? So they're going for £388,000, which is quite... A big field as well, so that's good. Um, I think we may own this one here. Do we? If we own this one, let's have a look. Let's open the hood up. Yeah, so we own this field here. This is field number 30, which we own. Uh, we'll leave that here for... Oh, collisions are on that gate are a bit broken. So head out of here. Reverse back over the bridge. And then we'll press on and see what else we have. Coming through. Yeah, we beat the Bronco. Whoop. Right, so here's the store sign. So I'm assuming the store is around here? Or was that just not meant to be there? I don't know. There was a sign there that showcased all the uh, products, but I'm going to assume this is like a road going to the store in that case. Let's head down ooh, here. This would be quite an interesting map to have on the server, I think. I might play a server. Ah, yeah, here we are. So here we are at the store right now. So you can go left and right. Right, we'll take you to the store, and we'll have a look at that in a second. And this looks like uh, our main cell point, possibly. So we've got a s s wait there, actually. And then the actual cell point is in here. Course play friendly, so you can go right through. So I know some people don't like it when you have to reverse into sheds, so he has made this one that drive through, which is quite interesting. And so that's the one of the cell points, at least. And we'll head this way. So, judging by this, we have the, uh, the straw cell point, the bell cell point, even. And over here we have the wall cell point. You see he's marked it off with the wall palette, which is pretty nice. Right, over here we have the actual shop itself. Uh, we'll take a look around the back. We've got a fuel point there. Uh, we've got another combine here. Right, okay, so here we have the actual by the actual store itself. So there's the marker for the store right outside the building, as you'd expect. And over here we have the workshop area, where I'm assuming you can sell and customise your vehicles. So yeah, you park your vehicles in here when you want to sell them and or modify them, get them up like that, which is quite cool. I think they're slightly floating, these. That's not really a game-breaking bug, it's just something I've noticed. <laughs> right, and we'll head back out and see what else we can find. All 
Okay, so heading back through the town, as you can see, this wasn't the store, it was hiding by trees, so I couldn't see beforehand. It looks like there's nothing here, which, to me, means it's possibly a placeable area. So maybe you can put your placeables here. There's a water fill point here, so you can have, like, the, uh, what is it? What's the one that takes, uh, water? Well, wait, so you just put your placeables here, I think. Um, we'll give it a go, actually. We'll see if it'll let us. So we'll get placeables, and we'll choose, let's choose a greenhouse. So this is the letter greenhouse here. So, yeah. Looks like that is what it is. It looks like it's just for placeables, which is fantastic. So um, we've got the water point there, so we can fill up our bowsers and stuff and put it into here. So whatever you want to put here, basically. The soul master, anything. Or compost master, sorry. So there's a place barrier there. So this is the sort of stuff I like if this car lets us go. So down here, I'll put, make the speed a little bit faster. Little dirt roads going to fields like this. So this looks like another grass field here. But uh, yeah, I like it when you got to go down little dirt paths to get to them. I really think it adds character to the maps. Uh, here looks like our animal market. Yep, there we go. So we have the actual triggers probably where I'm stood right now. Oh, excuse you. Okay, so heading down this country lane right now. I'm really not used to driving with a keyboard. It's quite confusing, actually. Uh, um, so here we have what looks... Is that the yard we were in a minute ago? I think it is. So one of these roads... We'll go this way, actually. One of these roads leads to a second yard. There is two yards on this map, so we will get to that at some point. Um... One of those maps we're going to have to learn your way around, that's for sure. So it looks like we've got some sort of stable here with some horses and stuff. Um, possibly sell the bales here as well, but don't quote me on that. I haven't checked just yet. There's some horses there, and it looks like there's a shed over there as well. So we'll try and make our way over there. That could be the other yard I'm looking for. So we'll head out this way. A lack of the cell. And we'll take a swift right. So, okay, so we're going down a little dirt road now, and uh, we've come towards that shed I was looking for, which has a gate, so we'll quickly get that open. And we'll take a look inside. So there's a little field there as well. Well, actually, I'd say little, it's huge. So this looks like we've just got some uh, storage here, actually. So maybe you could designate this area to beets or something, and then store your beets into here. I don't know. So, yeah, maybe that's what I personally would do with this area. Probably that's a bit big for beets, but you know what I mean. Plow it up, put a crop here, and designate the shed to that, personally. Um, let's rotate this around like this. Okay, so I found this. Looks like this is our sheep yard here. So we've got a little storage shed here. The feeding troughs for the sheep themselves, which go out into a little sheep pasture we have here, which is pretty cool. Not seen one like this before. There's the uh, the water trough right there, which goes around, I believe. So there's the yard. You come around, and it just goes into a big loop, I think. So you can uh, get around. So yeah, this is a quite an interesting little sheep pasture. Not seen one like this before. I like it. I think it's really cool. Um, now this does actually take us to the main second yard, our main animal yard, I should say. Right, so what we're going to do is head out of here. I'm just turning around using the little trees around about there. So we'll head out this way and follow the dirt road, and it should eventually take us to the animal yard, um, or the cow one at least. Another gate here. All right, so get that opened up. Wait for it to open, and we are away over the little... Oh, stuck. Dang it. Over the little uh, cattle grid here. Go, 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 go. Alright, so here is the main animal yard. So we're going to come down, yeah, another little driveway. I do, really do like these driveways. I think they're really cool. And we've got a nice open field there. So here is... Uh, possibly the actual main cow shed. We'll come back to that. We'll take a look in here, first of all. Get that turned around. I need to turn off that drive control soft gas thing. It's annoying. Um, so we've got a little storage shed here. That may be a silage clamp. That possibly may be a silage clamp. That I'll have a look. We'll get out and press F1. No, it's not. It would be cool if it was a silage clamp. It would be quite an interesting place to put one. Inside. Um, so we've got our mowers and our baler there. Our round baler there. Fertilizer fill up point by the look of it. Uh, some more storage here as well. I'll get back to that shed in a second. Looks like this is an old fattening yard, actually. This would be from the older farm sims, I think. The shed here. Going around into. Where does this go? We'll soon find out. Ah, okay. So this might actually be the animal. This may be the cow shed, actually. Um, so we've got a feeding trough. Uh, what's that down there? That looks like another feeding trough. Yeah, that's another feeding trough. Um, here is 
a, a water trough for the cows. Maybe we should buy some cows and find out exactly which one is which, because um, I got a feeling it may actually be both of them. We may have two cow pastures. Maybe one will be like the calves and one will be the one will be the sheep. The sheep? What am I talking about? One will be the calves, sorry, and one will be the cows, possibly. We've got a slurry tank there, which is where the slurry will go. Our manure pit is there. Oh gosh, oversteer. So we've got. Ah, these are silage clamps. So take back what I said a minute ago. These are silage clamps here. So. As you can see, they are indoors, and if we go into this with the F1 menu open, you can see it says fuel level shaft, compacting, so yeah. We have indoor silage clamps, which should stop people using huge equipment, which I like. That's what my map's going to be like. I hate to break it to you. Um, so yeah, we've got a cow shed there. We'll go back through this way. I don't think there's anything down there. Nope, just a fence. What's in here? So here we have a, another little storage shed here that's got another fence in it. I think that's the 200. Don't quote me on that. And I've just noticed actually, another water fill point there. This shed here has lights. Let's see what they're for. Okay, so these ones are sharing lights, which is pretty cool. So that's how you turn the lights on for that. Um, now we're going to head into here finally. We'll see what this other cow shed is then. Let's have a look. With a storage barn there. Okay. So, uh, yeah, well, I'll look at this. This may possibly be pigs, this one. Come to think of it. So we've got that there. We've got feeding troughs and water troughs with some lights as well inside here, as you can see. So yeah, this one here might be pigs. Let's have a look on the map. Yes, yeah, so that's what's going on here. I was looking into it too much. This is actually the pig area. Well, look at this. Living in luxury in this shed. So they've got some uh, some shelters as well. Personally, I would have put down a couple more, depending on how much sheep you have, because it looks like quite a corporate one. We've got a little water plane here. Now this, to me, looks real, this water plane. So maybe if you want some free water, this is where you come. Um, so there we go, this is the big enclosure. Nice bit of uh, water for them to dip around in and get even muddier. Like I said, I will test that when I'm playing this map to see if that's a real water plane. It looks like it might be, so we can get some free water from there. Uh, there's a water trough, normal water trough. This is a feeding trough here for the pigs. And that is the animal yard, basically. We'll quickly have a little drive around, see if I'm missing anything huge. Maybe there's like some main key points I'm missing to this map as well. Okay, one more thing I want to check out. It's on the map here, in field 29, which is a huge one we looked at earlier, there's uh, something at the bottom. It could just be a water plane, but uh, we'll have a look. It looks like a massive lake sort of thing, possibly. Yeah, okay, it looks like we've got a massive lake at the end of here, which is cool. So this may even possibly be the water fill point. You only get one on the map, um, so this could potentially be it. Um, so we've got a nice little uh, jetty here, whatever you want to call this, a pier, a jetty, with some mini rowing boats. It's a shame you can't drive these in farm sim. I think I thought giants would have put in boats, especially with that huge lake in Goldcrest, but there we go. Um, I think that's the key features. I haven't showed you every single field, and the reason for that is because I want to keep some stuff a surprise for you for when this map comes out, and um, you guys get to play it yourselves, and also it's up to you guys. If we do a Let's Play on this, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, we will be playing with Seasons Mod. As you can see, we have the Seasons Mod loaded up here. But yeah, what do you think? I personally think it's quite a good map. Um, it reminds me a lot of uh, White Oak Farm Extended, this one, over the little bridge. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, this will be out soon. I'm not sure if it's going to be on console. Unfortunately, that is not up to the mo just the mod maker. That is up to uh, Giants as well, uh, see if there's any errors or anything. But there we go. So if you did enjoy it, please tap the thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Stay tuned to Dusty Dave's channel. I'll put a link to his channel in the description box below. You can find out exactly when this map's going to be out. Um, so yeah, if you did enjoy, slap the thumbs up button. Hit subscribe. There's been an accident. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.